Hey guys, Dylan from the Geek Duo here, and today I'll be bringing you another episode of my Stoneblock 3 playthrough. So, in the last episode, I was attempting to make the crushing wheel, because I wanted to finish off this getting started questline. The problem is, to do that, we need to make the mechanical crafters. To do that, we had to make several other things as well. And we ran out of time. So what I've done is I've set up this mechanical crafter. And yeah, then now we just have to put the stuff in and it'll work. Oh, also a funny thing happened while I was trying to get this to start moving. Okay, so I'm trying to make up the back end side of this to get it to run. And so I've got two layers of cogs to speed it up. And I've somehow made a perpetual motion machine. Because there is absolutely no water anywhere along here. Yet, the water wheels are going. They're not moving fast enough to actually power this, but... Somehow they're infinitely moving. Yeah, I don't know how that happened, but... Apparently, sometimes when you put a new wheel on... And then you take things away, that wheel still spins. But, um, I'd managed to get a double, um, sped. It's not really necessary. Having just one row of this was, was more than enough for the crafting, but this just makes it quicker. And, yeah, to get a double sped, you need 11 water wheels. Because if I were to... Give me this. Let's just demonstrate this. I don't have the um, goggles, so I can't show it properly. If I were to just have it like this, at this speed, each one of these mechanical crafters is using 40 units of stress. And each one of these um, generates 360 no, 320 with my setup. Because I've actually got a... Um, this may balk things a little. I've actually got a soul sand here with a source block. Because that pushes it up even more. And just... So it's got two things acting on it to keep it in motion. So to generate this... You've got 40 and 320. That's eight of these powered by a single water wheel. However, when I break this and put it back to the way I had it, put that one there, that one there, now each one of these is using 160. So only two of these can be powered per water wheel. Oh, also, I made a couple toolboxes. This one actually has all my tools in it. This one has my create stuff in it. I thought I put them... No, I must have put it in here. Yeah, on my underside alloy. Because I... Um, did make the underside alloy. Now, what do I need? A thing of stone... And just one of those. I said one of those. Ah, oh, that's full. Give me one stone. Now let's get to work. So it's basically just put the underside alloy around the outside like this. Then we put our planks here. And we put the stone in the middle. 
Now all these drop down, come together, push out to the side, and there we go, we've got our crushing wheel. Now, how can I do this? I think for now, we'll break that down. I'll put a That is two blocks over here. Yeah, I'll break that. Put a shaft here. That's spinning the same way. Gonna want to go grab a gearbox. Well, I was correct about needing a gearbox, but not for the one that I thought. Because, um, that's spinning the wrong way, not that one. Oh, also, they're completely different speeds, but that doesn't really matter. I'll chuck those in there as well. Anyway, the main point of this crushing wheel for us is to get gravel shifted. That worked surprisingly well. Now this this goes in batches of 16. I don't remember if it keeps all the inventory until it's gone through all available batches or if it just pops it out then there's more just like that. But obviously this is going to get refined so I can put my um, thingo back. But there we go. We've got our coal, we got raw zinc, raw bauxite, raw osmium, raw lead, raw iron, and raw tin. And to do this, we can just um, smelt it down or we can put this back through the thing, get crushed iron ore, and if we were to wash that, we get the equivalent nuggets, so we're back to dealing with nuggets, but it's fine. And we get a 75% chance at redstone. If we go with the zinc, crush that down, wash it, chance of gunpowder. I think the other one's bauxite. No. Nope. Maybe it's, maybe it was just gold. There. Oh yeah, wash that, you get a chance at quartz. So we don't need this anymore. And the reason I didn't automate this, like I said I was going to, is A, if we look at miscellaneous, you need extractor upgrades, which is a quest. But... Also, we're about to make that obsolete, so we don't need it anymore. Uh, crushing wheel. Got another entangled binder. Ooh, got a vile sword. What's that do? Oh yeah, I accidentally... dug down to deep slate. So I got that quest. Wrench. Mob imprisonment tool, yep. Redstone flux cell. Oh. Six attack. Yeah, it's better than my current one. Also, this um, thing in the toolbar looks cool. Chuck all that in there for now. But yeah, if we run down here. Because, um... I made a little mine to get andesite and all that. Also, I made andesite stairs, but... See how this is a 2x2 two two and goes all the way down? What I did was... Um...
I did a small tunnel, which is 64 blocks down. The problem is, when I was trying to get this one, I accidentally looked at the top of the block, not the side of it. So it dug all the way down that way. And when I tried to fill up the hole, I'd gone all the way down to deep sleep level. Also, you may notice that I don't have any sound coming from this mob farm anymore. And that's because I've put it all through a muffler filter so that I don't have to. Because if we go in here, click on this muffler, you'll see how this zero is glowing green. If we look at muffled sounds, you'll see there's all the animal ones. If we click on one, nothing's muffled because these are separate um, channels that can be done in a radius from where you activate it. So I stood next to the um, wall here and just activated it and got rid of all the ones that came up as recent. Except for apparently zombie villagers. Okay, so we got this one done. Now, as you can probably see by my... Well, well it was there. I want to get into chickens. The problem with this is, to start the quest, you need this chicken catcher. Which needs a feather. And... I haven't been able to get any feathers from these. These ones are babies at the moment, but... Oh, hey, right there. You just gotta make a liar out of me, don't you? Give me a stick. There we go. Our chicken catcher. But now that I've demonstrated this... Get rid of those. Get rid of that for now. Give me those and give me that. Because we actually need this back out. So we've now got our mechanical craft back. And the reason we need this is because these base level chickens actually need the mechanical crafter to be created. It's just an egg surrounded by their respective material. Um, like white dye for the bone meal. All the ones I'm trying to demonstrate are actually bread ones. Soul sand. So we needed this back to make them. Also, I completely forgot to show how to make a toolbox. It's leather, two gold sheets, a chest, and a cogwheel. And you're probably thinking, hang on, you were complaining last episode that you didn't have leather. How did you make that? Well, you see these, um, wilden wings. If you just take one of them, chuck it in your crafting inventory, it turns directly into leather, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. Now let, let me just um, gather all the chickens that can be crafted, put them in the bookmark, and then we'll start working on that. Okay, so these 11 chickens, they're the ones that can be um, crafted. So we're going to need 11 eggs, so I'll chuck those ones back in there. So we need cactus green dye, bone meal, red dye, flint, soul sand, I should probably grab this as I'm saying it. I 
and we need 20 of each item. Okay, so I didn't have enough um, quartz, even from the rest of that stack in my storage unit. So we're going to let that rest for a moment. But I opened that loot chest in my inventory without even thinking about it. I got this potion builder from Ars Nouveau. Put that in there. Put those in there. Put that one piece of cobble away. But here's the thing. Once we have the quartz, that'll be eight of the 11. We've still got red chicken, yellow chicken, and ink black chicken. How do you get the ink black chicken? Well, you need black dye. How do you get black dye? Well, the easiest way, since we don't have any of this, would be Britannia. How do you get the red chicken? Red dye. The easiest way, since we don't have any of this, uh, we have beetroots. Can we? Well, we've got beetroots. Never mind. Ignore that. Um, let's go with the yellow one then. Yeah, the easiest way to get the yellow is through Britannia. But to get that, we need floral fertilizer. And to get that, we need to actually progress into the Britannia tab for a second. Um, you guys for now. Yeah, we'll chuck those in there for now. And as much quartz as I have. Um, got a thousand beetroots, so don't need to worry about that. Okay, so we want to get to Britannia. And the easiest way to do that is. We need the, where is it? There, floral fertilizer, which is any dye and bone meal. Now, if we go like that, there's my crafting table there. Boom. We've got six of that. get this reward redstone upgrade that's from the functional storage well that completed our pipes I do um, what do we need oh we also need the pipe wrench that needs brass rub but well anyway we've got this floral fertilizer the light gray that's not what we needed that's normal grey, that's not what we needed. And magenta. None of those are what we need at the moment. You know what, give me a, another chest. Just for all the Britannia stuff at the moment. Now what's the bet I don't get the yellow and the black in this batch of floral fertilizer? There it is. Mystical orange as well. Cyan. I think that's all of them. There's another orange. Yeah, there's black. There's normal blue. Orange, cyan, light blue. Got one more left to get the yellow. We didn't get it. Yeah, well.
Okay, here's our next batch. Got pink, didn't have pink before. Didn't have brown before. Nine and five, so that's 14. Still missing two. One of them is the one we need. There we go. Now we're just missing yellow. There we go, finally, in the last one we had. Okay, so now we take the black one, we take the yellow one, turn that into petals, turn that into petals. Yellow, yellow, black, 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 black. And you no longer need shears for this, so I can just mine them like that. And now we've got eight yellow petals. And 16 of those. Let's just put that. All right, need a tool. That didn't work. But a bow does, okay. That makes sense, I guess. Now we've got 32 of that. Chuck that in there, chuck that in there. And we now have all the stuff needed for our chickens except you know any way to actually breed them or feed them or anything so yep chuck one of them in there was really expecting to accidentally throw that There we go, sand chicken, yellow chicken, there's our black chicken. As you notice, there was only the quest for the first one. Or, well, I say the first one. Any of these chickens would trigger this quest. I could have just looked here for all the craft for one. Oh, hey, cool, got a diamond pastel. There's a red chicken. There's our quartz chicken, our green chicken, our blue chicken. There's our bone meal chicken, our flint chicken, our soul sand chicken, and finally our love chicken. So that is all 11 craftable chickens. Now, we need a th way to deal with them. Also, mate, you've been real annoying. This has a slower swing speed than my um, Tinker's one. Yep. So now, what do we do with these now we have the chicken? What we do now is we create the breeder, which is just planks hay bales, and wheat, and we create these roosts, which is the same recipe, just without the seeds. Get our four things to that.
Okay, I reckon we're going to go with three breeders for the moment. And the rest are going to be roosts. Right? Yeah. The rest are going to be roosts. So now I guess the best place for this is going to be here. For now, that's good enough. As you can see, you put the chicken in the roost, and slowly over time, it will start generating something. And then once this arrow finally reaches the end point, we get a log. And it's the same for all this. This one's soul sand, flint, bone meal, sand, etc, etc. Okay, so, I'll take that out for now. The breeder, on the other hand, if we look at uses on this chicken, we've come to the breeding tab. As you can see, with an ink black chicken and a log chicken, there's a 20% chance at a string chicken. Same, if you look at flint and log, it's coal. Lapis and log, it's snowball. So, we chuck a chicken in there, a chicken in there, and our seeds in there. When this eventually goes, it's only, you know, well, four times it. Of it, these two make hearts, and when this goes all the way across, we got a string chicken. That doesn't help me in what I was trying to demonstrate, but okay. There we go. We've now got our one red chicken that was required for the quest. There we go. So normally, when you had this, you would, if you had a 111 and a 111 here, any of their offspring, that were of the same type as the parent would be better when they came out. The problem is, the creator of this pack, in order to balance it out with the speeding up of the breeding and everything, they got rid... Oh, right, because the crafter ones have um, one MBT tag, which is... whereas the bread ones have four. So this initial one you can't stack. Let's just put that at four times again so I can more easily demonstrate. But when these come all the way through, hopefully it's another log chicken. No, it's a flint chicken. Oh, that didn't reset the timer. Interesting. I want to demonstrate it here, but... Ah, there we go. See? Now we've got two, and this is going slightly faster. But the th problem is that they're all coming out as 111. So as I was saying, to balance out the speed of the breeding increase that they put into this pack, they've taken out the ability for offspring of different parent types to have increased stats. There we go, there's our coal. And we'll chuck the lapis in there, grab an... Another stack of seeds. But now if we put these two flint in here. Speed that up. When it goes across, you'll see that when I hold shift over it, it'll be different stats. See, that's growth two, gain three, strength three. So now I've got two of those, one of those. And it's going ever so quicker still. See how that just is jumping up in chunks now? Because that was a 3-3-3. Three, three, three. And we can just get rid of those ones. 
Then we gotta sell Loke Chicken. But for now, we'll just put all of our chickens in to here. I feel like it's shitting so much. Yeah, I'm probably going to want to get rid of that sound. But so this is basically what I'm going to be doing between this episode and next. Getting the rest of all of these. Yep. All those now. Okay, we've got our bread lapis one so we don't need to worry about that but the problem with them not gaining stats through doing this now is that you have to get two of the same chicken type which means that some of them you're going to have to breed them against things that they're not even compatible with for that chance because like Lapis and Cactus is Cyan, Lapis and Log is Snowball, Bone Meal and Light Blue, Water is Prismarine, Red is Purple. So if I were to say breed it with a yellow one, I would guarantee that I get a blue or a yellow what? chicken. But there's no guarantee that it'll... Well, in fact, there's a guarantee it won't get better. But anyway, um, let's get the rewards for these quests. Pipe wrench from Pretty Pipes, I'm pretty sure that is. Okay, go to Golden Furnace and complete the Iron Furnace quest. And we got more Void upgrades. So if we go to Miscellaneous, got some more Void upgrades. Yeah, this would have accepted anything. So this is literally just a So you've got a furnace surrounded by iron to get an iron furnace that's surrounded by gold with gold block below to get a gold furnace that six diamonds and glass makes diamond furnace surrounded emeralds then of course we've got obsidian blaze rods You're really not giving me what I want. You get eight of those. Six of those. I was just thinking, how am I out of diamonds? I'm not. They weren't in the right spot. Get two glass. There we go. We now have a um, emerald furnace. Um, what do I want to smelt? Let's just make some charcoal. Hmm. It's not that bad. Okay, and we're back. So, as you can look at how much these 16, which is the max stack, flint chickens produce. They do 48. So, at 10 gain, they drop 3 items per cycle. And because there's 16 in there, they go at 3 times 16. Because there's 4 lapis at 111. And every time that goes across, we get um, four lapis. But yeah, this one's already full. So between episodes, I'm going to... So they didn't actually speed up the breeding process. They sped up this process. How fast they generate the resources when they're bred. 
So, yeah. What I want to do is, because I'm going to need this soon, is power, is I want to make some dynamite. I don't know what I just clicked there. Okay. Might do the lapidary. Yeah, I've got a shit ton of lapis. Gold gear, redstone flux coil. Two of those, one of those. We need another two, one of that. Lapidary. Two iron. Another redstone. Is that just, yep. There's my lapis there. Go gear. That is the wrong way around. Redstone flux coil. Oh yeah, I also got this. No idea how I got here. I'm stumped too. That's a random stick event. There we go. We now have a dynamo. And we got an andesite casing for that. And the thermal PDL. Um, so, I guess, since I'm not going to be doing any more of that this episode, I'll start with backpacks. Because now that I know we can get leather, we can do this. So this first one, string, leather, bone meal, and a chest. String, leather. I don't think I have it. Wait, yes I do. Yeah, I got no idea where that went. And then enough wood for a chest. Have to turn them into the proper resources. There we go. Now we've got a backpack. It only does two rows of nine. But if we were to look at it, it's easy to look up here. Gold, yellow dye, block of gold, and two more chests. And then we look at this one. Diamond, blue dye, block of diamond, and two more chests. We'll just turn those into chests. Go over here. Forgot you can't um, scroll out of that. 11 of that. Just smelt that up. Probably should have put it in the... um thing that we've got now but oh well because I can't actually move on until I get that gold yep I should probably show how much this does it's now um 3 by 11 this one's now 6 by 11 then of course we've got the backpack, the epic one, which is magenta, iron bars, two chests, and another star. Then you've got the ultimate, which is two more nether stars, and then eleven netherite. But for now, we could just put that on our back. Um, what is the controls I've got that set to? Category, I think it's simply... I don't have any. B. Yep, that's not gonna conflict with anything too bad. Go B. Done, done. Of course. 
what's what is it is it the mechanism one nope there we go now hit B and it opens my backpack and the reason I wanted the backpack done is because that was the right thing we're going to go looking for these dungeons and the way to do that let's see here, is we've got one thing down here one thing over here one thing over here and then this massive one down here so we're probably going to continue our stone path down along to here Maybe we could we go off our andesite one and then just build up. This one's Y75. We're at Y0. So that one's massively up. This one's negative 49. Okay. So we're going to dig our way over to there. That's in that direction. And see what those are about. That's why I wanted the backpack. Anything else I can do quickly? I guess. I guess I'll just make a blank module to set that. No, I need more nether quartz for that. Luckily, I've got this one. Blank module. Need two redstone. Two stone slabs. Some out of redstone. Wash that one up for now. Stone slabs, we've got two of them. Where's my pipe? Ah, there. Redstone does come from dust, yeah? Yeah. As you can see, even at the base level, these things are already almost half full. Some of them over, some of them finished. Let's do that to get rid of that quest. Oh, we got a chance pendant. Yeet. And so, now I can start on automating things. Like, properly automating. Um. I want to make that. Mark 1, blank upgrade module. So any um, glass pane, so I guess I'll make the Mark three. Cool, chuck that one in there as well. Now we want the charging station. Which is almost equally as easy. And then block of coal. Don't have any of that yet. There we go. Take that. Grab my lapidary. Check it like that. You were meant to go pointing up, but okay. I think that can also go with coal to charge it. And now we take this mining gadget, chuck it in here. It's gone up fairly quickly, even when it's running close to empty. And there we go, this thing is now fully charged. 
and go in mining. Put that as comma. Range five, so it's one by one. So now if I just hold in the left click, not left click, right click, I just mine a tunnel. Also you see you can, if you accidentally go too far, you can just stop it before it finishes mining and it just reverts back to its regular state. But that's going to really help us get to the other place. Where's my stone? Anyway, uh, with that being done, just fill in this hole, collect the rewards, and that's going to be it for this episode. I didn't mean to take that. I uh, might as well get the Botania book now. We got a gold Paxil for that. And that gave, ooh, a luggage. That of course has its own upgrades and everything. You have yet another thing of storage. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, anything that stacks. Cool. I think I could go like that, put him down and he still retains it, yep. Okay, that's even better than I thought it would be. But, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode, or want to catch more of it as it comes out, or watch any of my other content, I am still doing a Pokemon Omega Ruby randomized nozzle alongside this, when I can finally get the episode out. Or, if you want to catch, well, consider subscribing to my channel if you want to catch any of those. Or, if you want to see me react to shows that I find interesting, I'm currently caught up with My Hero Academia Season 5, about to start Season 6, and I'm reacting to the last couple of episodes of Andor before choosing a new series. And if you want to catch any of that, it's The Geek Duo on YouTube. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.